Death Valley, California. Usually when one thinks of this high desert wasteland, visions of scorching 120 degree heat and arid windblown plains come to mind. But for the scientists working on NASA's Mars Science Laboratory, it is an oasis of opportunity. So what we're doing today is, is bringing out a trial rover that simulates uh, Curiosity, uh, which will land on the surface of Mars on August 7th. So we bring the rover out, and we're interested to possibly drive on sand dunes on Mars, but we'd like to know where our risk uh, comes in. So we take different combinations of, of the slope, and we can see what the grain size of the sand is, and then we drive the rover up and down and across them for all different uh, possibilities for, for slope, and then we try to find out what the maximum slope angle is above which we, we will get stuck in the sand. We call it the scarecrow uh, because it has a big heart, but it has, has no brains. Uh, so we supply it uh, its computer power, and that's why you see the tent over there set up with all kinds of gear in it. And then we send the signals to it with radio waves. Slipping in sand and getting stuck there are major threats of any Mars rover mission. But experience gained from the rover's spirit and opportunity has provided valuable insights. We have uh, years of data uh, from Spirit and Opportunity operating on Mars, and we uh, are attempting to mine that data uh, and use it for models uh, to predict how Curiosity is going to perform. What happens is we, we set up an array of optical devices that are calibrated in advance, and then from this uh, we can capture all of the motion of, of the rover and know very precisely how the rover actually behaves as it interacts with the topography. And this is much the same way that, that Hollywood utilizes to, to try to do animations with real human-like motions involved. And so the rover was commanded to drive a meter, but measured from image to image that we only progressed 50 centimeters, then we know we had 50% slip. So we can produce slip versus slope curves and therefore predict, hey, if we're on a 12 degree sandy slope, we're gonna have uh, 60 to 80 percent slip. To more accurately compare the data from today's tests with the Mars Exploration Rovers, JPL decided to bring them along, sort of. So far, what we're learning is really good. This rover, Curiosity's surrogate, basically performs better than Spirit and Opportunity's surrogate does. So we've got both of them out here, uh, one that's a, a mass equivalent for uh, Curiosity and one that's a mass equivalent for spirit and opportunity, and, and so far, Curiosity is very much outperforming the one for MER, so we're pretty excited about that. The Mars Exploration Rover Spirit got stuck multiple times during its six-year mission, ultimately meeting its demise mired in place. It was a nerve-wracking experience that no one wants to repeat. So the tests go on in the dry, arid wastes of Death Valley, as Opportunity continues its exploration of the Red Planet. This is Rod Pyle for Space.com. Space.com.